Good morning everyone and welcome to Winding and Racing. Today we're going to be doing a bunch of welding. And what's going to be interesting about the welding today is I actually ran out of CO2 gas and the gas that I'll be using in my MIG welder will be the mixed gas, half argon and half CO2. And it works perfectly fine and it sounds really cool when you're welding. So uh, stay tuned and enjoy that. What I got to do before I start welding is we had a couple of uh, bad tubing uh, fits here. And I went ahead and I marked where I'm going to be grinding to sink that down. This side's okay, but when I scrunch it down, it's going to tighten that up to the point. It'll have to have a little taken out of there, too. This side down is low, but it's tight there. So I'll have to take a little bit out of there because when that comes down, this will come down and that will have to meet there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that grinding, get that fit properly. And then we're going to start doing some welding. And I love welding. It's going to be fun. And like I said, the sound of that mix gets, it sounds cool. So anyways, stay tuned and uh, we'll get going on this. All right, guys. Well, to be honest, uh, I'm not liking the look of that at all. So I got a couple of a couple of hundred pounds of CO2 left. So I'm gonna try to jam this out so I can get this done before I run out of gas. So if it looks like I'm just working. I am. So we can see right there. Straight CO2, beautiful weld, mixed gas. It's kind of gray and oxidized. I'm not sure about the strength of that, what it's going to be like. But uh, yeah, for MIG welding, looks like the ticket is CO2.
So let's take a look and see how things turned out here. Again, I mentioned this was the mixed gas. How it turned out gray like that, I don't know. But then once I started taking up with the CO2, it looked better. Nice little weld there. So I need to get that still, so let me get that real quick. Alright, now let's take a look. Nice heat penetration there. The gluing of the steel means that we got some heat in there. That's good. I do not believe this thing is going to come apart. That's going to be it for the day. I'm out of CO2, so... I guess one thing I might do later is uh, work on these wheels. I do want to get the other side on, and this one does still need a little cleanup work there, so... If I feel like it, I can come out here and do some grinding. Got a little die grinder that cuts aluminum pretty well. Aluminum's kind of a pain in the butt to work with because it clogs everything up. Uh, one thing I've uh, learned that uh, when cutting aluminum, if you use a little WD-40 on saw blades and grinding bits and stuff, it helps the stuff that will be gumming you up, gumming the, the teeth up, uh, will actually discard and, and not do that. So it makes your uh, tools work better if you do use a little WD-40 on them while you're cutting aluminum. So anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching and... Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, that's going to be it for today. I think uh, probably tomorrow I'm going to put a slideshow together. That's going to be a real neat one because it's going to be on my old... I had an 85 Chevy that originally it was a two-wheel drive, turned it into a four-wheel drive, and had to swap out the motors a couple of times. And uh, So that's going to be a pretty big slideshow and fun to watch because that's the old square body Chevy special truck there so thanks again guys and uh we'll see you on the next one